The variance that we found here um, will allow us to determine who has increased or in some cases lower risk of breast cancer when they carry a B or C1 mutation. Um, so the, the useful thing for the patient in that regard is that uh, they can determine individualized risk. Uh, right now all these patients have to rely on population-based estimates um, so that everybody by age 70 has a risk of about 65% of developing breast cancer maybe with the addition of these variants that we found and others that we intend to find as the studies go forward would lead to identification of women at particularly high risk, perhaps 90%, or women at low risk, perhaps 20%. Um, one thing that's very important about this particular population of individuals, BRCA1 mutation carriers, is that many of them undergo prophylactic mastectomy and prophylactic oophorectomy to avoid this risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer. If we can determine that a woman is perhaps only 20 or 30 percent lifetime risk of breast cancer or ovarian cancer, perhaps she can avoid that surgery and all the issues, the side effects that go along with that. But it's okay. all about risk assessment here. Can we calculate a woman's individual risk of getting breast cancer when she is a BRCA1 mutation carrier? We have identified a few variants already that um, we believe are useful for that, but this is really the one that we are most sure of the one that really tells us that we can do these modulations of the risk in a risk assessment setting. The other thing about this discovery, of course, is that it tells us about the underlying etiology or the biology of the disease. How did it arise in these patients? What initiated the breast cancer in these patients? So many years going forward, we'll be studying the gene that, was, that contains these, this variant and other variants and trying to find out how alterations of these genes can actually predispose to the onset of this disease. In time it may be that um, it may be that we can develop preventive agents, drugs of some form, that could be given to people that have these variants that would attack the particular gene that's altered in this case or the particular signaling pathway within the cell that's altered by this gene and then would shut down that process and potentially then reduce the risk of developing breast cancer in this population, lower the woman's risk overall. Um, obviously the same is being done for BRCA1 itself. Can we modify BRCA1? Is there a gene therapy approach? Are there vaccines? There are many different things that are being done. Uh, drugs such as PARP inhibitors have been found to be very effective in this population, so people are using those in clinical trials. Could we do the same thing for the genes that are altered by these, rare vari uh, these common variants that we've actually found in this study?